Chapter 12, Introduction to Analysis of Variance, uh, Question 18. The following data were obtained from an independent measures study comparing three different treatment conditions. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to put this here so you can see. Question 18, this is the data that we're given. Some important pieces to note. We are given n, g, sum of x squared. We've got means, we've got t values, we've got sum of squares. So the values here, this sum of squares relates to treatment 1, these values to treatment 2, these values to treatment 3. Okay. So the first a, the first part of this question asks us, Calculate the sample variance for each of the three samples. Because we're given sum of squares and we're asked to calculate that sample variance. So for, for treatment one, variance is equal to the sum of squares of treatment one divided by the degrees of freedom of treatment one. The sum of squares was two and the degrees of freedom is n minus one lowercase n. So we've got four values for each treatment. So we're going to divide by n minus 1. So 4 minus 1. We divide by 3. And that is 0 0.67. I'm going to do the same for treatment 2, but with sum of squares 2 divided by the degrees of freedom 2. The sum of squares for this group was 4. The degrees of freedom, each group has 4 uh, individuals, so the degrees of freedom stays the same. And the variance here is 1.33. Do that. Uh, S3, this is A, is equal to sum of squares 3 divided by the degrees of freedom of 3. The sum of squares here was 8 divided by 3, which is equal to 